Hey guys, Wix100 here, and I'm back with another GIMP tutorial. This time I will talk about layers and layer modes. So, with GIMP, you can add a new layer, which, let's just remove that. So, add a layer, and the reason for layers is you can draw on the different layers and have it not affect your other layers so if you you can then do more complex things with that because if you draw over something if the other thing is on a different layer then you can always go back to the previous thing without having to undo a bunch of work so what I'm going to be showing with layers now is different modes. So as you can see, there's lots of layer modes here, and each one does a different thing. I'm not going to go into detail for every mode, but I will show the ones that I use most often. So let's just pick a color here. Um, let's just do a normal plain red and fill this layer with red. Now as you can see, the whole thing is that shade of red. You can't see the layer underneath, which in this example I'm using my profile picture, my uh, Wix100 foxtail icon. So if I want to use different layer modes, I can set this to color. And now, whatever color is on top, it sets it so that the all the layers underneath are using that color. So let's gradient this and go to blue. Just a normal blue. And so take the gradient tool and set it to linear and go top to bottom. And so now, as it gradients through the different colors, the foxtail is those are those different colors. So let's call this layer color. Let's call this layer saturation. So as you can do the same thing with color, you can do it with saturation. So let's bring that down to white. And so scroll down and set this to saturation because white doesn't have a saturation it's now grayscale actually if we remove the color part then it's darker grayscale because it was slightly brighter with this in so let's add another new layer and call it erase and let's choose the pencil and then do good old Wilbur make this bit bigger okay let's just put Wilbur in the middle there and then set the thing the layer mode to erase so now wherever on this layer there is stuff it erases the on the layers below let's see what other modes we can mess with there is addition and subtraction which do the exact opposite of each other obviously so let's just do an example with addition so let's set this layer mode to addition and fill it with white. Now white, the values are 255, 255, 255. You add that to what's below it, and since the max is 255, 255, 255 RGB, then it's just going to be white. But let's say you add red to it. Now the red is at max because red is 255 zero, 0 and the other values are exactly the same they were before 
But if we have this at 128, then it adds 128 to the red in all of those and nothing to the others. Subtraction is the exact opposite. Instead of adding to it, it removes from it. So let's fill this with white and everything becomes black because it's subtracting the max value from everything so everything goes to the minimum value which is zero and so by combining different uh, layer modes you can then bring up you can then create cool effects by instead of using solid colors and simple gradients like I was using you can have more intricate designs on the different layer modes and then when they mix they create cool things like for example if you've seen my uh, infinity programming icon which is for, for my third channel that was created using many different uh, layers with different modes attached to them if you've seen my uh, chemical science um, or Tom, chemical science. I forgot the name of my own mod pack. That mod pack in that series on my primary channel, Wix 100, is um, also through similar effects. So that was the basics on different layers and layer modes. Hope you enjoyed. Check out everything in the description. Till next time. Bye.